I know last week I didn't get to put out that video. I had the content, but just don't, didn't have the time between work and family. You know how it goes, and I'm tired of making excuses. I would love to put up more videos, but I just don't have the time. Now, um, like I, I, um, I told you guys, I'm gonna be doing the door jams, painting them, because it's gonna be a lot cheaper if I do it here. And yes, it's gonna be done properly here. You can do it properly here. And yes, you can do it properly with rattle cans if you get the proper paint, which I did. So I did get 2K clear, and I did get the color of the car. Um, I bought the whole, the big can of paint, and I had them put some in aerosol can. And yes, it turned out great, and it's not gonna be any better than if you did it in the shop, because it's the same paint with 2K clear in a can, so it turned out great. I even put the stickers back on the door jam just to make it look original. I didn't tape around them, I took, I, I, I put new stickers there, so, the only place I'm not gonna bother with the hood, and no one's seen out of there yet, because I'm still working on that. But I just don't have enough time to get it all done. So, um, the doors, I put the door skin back on temporarily, because I still got some more stuff to do. Don't know when I'm gonna get to it, but, um, and I love the way it looks. Like I said, it's not for everybody. You know what, let me just show you guys what it looks like, because some of you will like it, some of you will hate it. And, no offense, I don't wanna hear your bullshit ass comment. I'm not doing this right, I'm, I'm only making these videos because I wanna show you guys what I'm doing. I don't need your expertise. I don't need to hear the, the bullshit comments because frankly, I don't give a rat's ass. I'm just doing it because I'm going to be modding the car anyway. And from what some of you guys are saying to me, you like what I do and you guys learn some stuff because some people try some of the stuff I've done and I got a lot of thank you, which makes me feel good. But for all you mofos that like to run your mouth and talk shit, shut the hell up and just watch what I do. Door is prepped. Door jam is prepped. Now all I gotta do, I'm just gonna tack it down and then I'm gonna put my first coat of paint on. So I have I ordered a big can of paint and then I had him put some in a can for me because my compressor right now is just pitting out too much water. And you know what? This works great, so I'm just gonna put a few coats on and uh put the clear cone uh put the 2k clear on it after I'm done. So now I'm gonna put my 2K clear on, and this is as good as coming out of a gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat on here and a coat on over there, and trust me, this is not cutting corners or being cheap. This stuff is good. For those of you who have a BMW, especially in the E series, like E90, 92, so forth, there's a rubberized stuff on the handle that BMW, I don't know what in God's name they were thinking when they decide to put that stuff on there and it's peeling like crazy. Knowing who I am and I'm going all this out, I'm not just gonna leave that. So I had to take everything apart just so I can paint those. And even to, um, to change the color on the door panel, oh boy, the amount of stuff you have to take off. Now I know why some people, when they change the color, they just leave the door and do the seats only, but not me. I'm too crazy to do that. Now let me show you some of this. Just This is just some of the stuff I had to take off just so I can uh, get them the way I want them. This is the driver's door handle. It was in two pieces, I just put it back together. I have the speaker grill. Oh, one, where, oh, uh, there's the other one. This is the door handles. This is the door trim that uh, the LED light goes in and uh, the switch for the window. Oh, shite, where's the other switch? I'm missing one switch. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> there it is, that's the other switch there. I took all this stuff apart just so I can paint them. Now I know a lot of you is not gonna like this color. I mean, it's a bold color. This is not for everyone, and for those of you who don't like it and is gonna bitch and complain how I ruined the car, remember? I'm the one who bought this, this salvage piece of you know what, and I can do whatever I please. But just in case, um, you know, you wanna go uh, bitch and complain, or you know, write stupid ass comment, I got something for you. Oh, if you didn't get that, let me play it again. That's what I think. So, you don't like it? 
sucks to be you. But let me show you some of the work I had to do just so I can paint the door cards. I got some epoxy here, fast setting epoxy to hold this stuff back on because I had to drill them out. And if I should take that piece off, there's 50 of those plastic wells in there. And there's no way I'm taking 50 of those out. So I drilled out one, two, three, four, five of them just so I could move this. Oh, it's more than five, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Man, that's a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, wait, I got a clamp here. I don't wanna put any nice uh, clamp marks in my leather. Got a piece of paper towel here. And I'm gonna clamp it on here. Just so it holds it. And that's not working. Damn thing's too slippery. Oh, because these damn heads swivel. So it's not staying in place. Do they come out? Oh. Let's see if that will work. Actually, I only need one out. Here we go. Now I can put some epoxy in there. And this should hold it again, just like the factory. Oh, man, this thing is hard to squeeze. Then comes the drama, some other girl is claiming she's going out with you. Mm -hmm. All we do is make it. That should do it. Now it has to make this stuff dry before I move on to the rest of it. And I have to do that to the whole strip, which is like two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, just for that little black strip and some more down there. But I know you guys don't want to see all that, so I'll flip it over when it's done and I'll show you after I uh, go through all this process. In order to get the back of the door card, I had to dr drill out the rivets so I can raise this up and keep it raised up. And I have to say, the color turned out pretty good. So I have to do it in that end and this end. And all these holes here, this is where that black long LED strip goes. And guess what? Yep, I'm gonna have to put all these back in and use epoxy to hold them back in the back. But now I gotta put this all back together and the carbon fiber trim and everything that goes on the door, I gotta put back together. I'm telling you man, this thing, <laughs> you gotta see it in person. And the gloss black accents look really good. And I did change out the light underneath the, the trim there. But like I said, nothing's really hooked up yet. Just get a glimpse. That's what it's gonna look like there. Yeah, baby, loving the way it looks. And the door jams. Put the stickers back there. And as you can see, it turned out damn good. You can see there is no March, no nothing. It's like a professional job. I still have to put this skirt back on down here, but I just not going to because I still have to sand and do all of that. But look, everything is painted down here. Nothing was left, so it's all done. The trunk is on the car, and I still got a lot of junk in the trunk, and I'm doing more carbon fiber. And the trunk is all done, hooked back up, uh, ready to go. Everything is all painted, everything was taken off. I got no overspray on anything. Like I said, I took my time to do all of this. There, you know, nothing was taped up, and trust me, there's a lot of stuff to put back together. I still got some screws that I gotta find out where they go, but <clears throat> I didn't say that out loud. But <laughs> um, as you can see, it turned out good, and the black liner compared to that gray liner. Yeah, so I still have to do all of that. Well, there you go, you can see. So you might not like it, but I love it. Other people seeing it just love it and can't wait to see, um, see it finished. And um, now I just got more of the carbon fiber parts I'm working on. The next thing I'm gonna do is I gotta take the front glass and the back glass out because I'm gonna recarbon the roof because this is the old one, one times one carbon. I wanna use a probably two times two or three. Newer carbon, because this shit just looks old and beat out. Um, so I gotta take the front and back glass out 
and uh, hoping they don't break. Well, the front one's already broken. Eh. Let's hope the back one don't break because that's the one that costs money. So once I finish taking those out, I'm, I'm gonna start on the roof and um, that's gonna take a while. But I'm gonna try and get more videos out. I'm not promising anything at this stage because right now it's just, it's just not in the card. So I'll put them out when I can. If I can get one out next week, I'll put it out. If I have time to finish under the hood, which I haven't shown anyone yet, I'll get to it. But so far I'm still, like I said, too many things going. But like I said, guys, just give these, these videos a thumbs up, help to get the, the channel growing. If you like them, if not, uh, it is what it is. But for now, that's it for uh, this episode and many more to come. I don't know when, but many more to come. So um, I myself can't wait till it's done. But I just, I have to wait because until I get there to finish it, I'm just gonna have to wait. But that's it for now. Laters. Five.